Oh, it's another big one. Okay, he's barely hooked that one. I just put on a slim minnow. This hook out, that's the teeth. I'm going to play your candle for this one to act as a bit of protection. going back. There it goes. Okay, that is 100 meters or so out. Fish on, fish on. Chase it. That's a good one. Watched him chasing it, that was really exciting. Just kept it, just kept the lure going. Say that's bigger than the last one, I guess. Hook came out right as I brought him in there. Right out on pretty much the furthest part of the car. Okay, lovely big blue fish there on the entice of minnow. You feel him shaking his head, sort of banging his head. Another run. It's a really big one, you can see that. of the day. It's a big one, pretty big one. I want to get him back in pretty quick. It's looks up with a nice blue fish. Just put the slim meadow on. I saw it chasing it on my smashing. Open up a little bit. Stuck on the slim meadow because I thought there might be some burger working for the Albus down there. So, I'm going to get him Close in now. There he is. Surfing the 
some up. Wow, some other decent. It's a little chunky. Okay, it's gone quiet for a while. Um, so I tried a few lures around and then I went back to the fat minnow. We've got on the candle, it's a little 50 gram from Egypt. Actually, I increased the speed a little bit and one hit it right on the inside from under that sandy ledge. It's coming to the top. Hopefully. Sometimes, as soon as you take the tension off, they're off. So yeah, it's a nice, again, another nice fight. Let's get this one back in. Keep that rod up. Keep 